everyone and welcome to day 46 of character design. Today is day... Three. <laughs> day... It's day three, Katie. It's day three of Mermaid. Today's prompt is rainbow. Here is the mermaid board if you want to follow along. And since we drew a male character last time, today will be a female. Now, starting off with the ideas um, with rainbows is clouds, of course. So I wanted to make sure I gave her a big fluffy like cloud hairstyle. So I sketched down like a normal face shape and then put some long ears. And then I figured it'd be really cute to balance like cloud puffy hair on those ears. So her hair is relatively short, but it is resting on top of her ears. And I gave her some classic Kate Cruz and bangs things that cover um, one of her eyes. And the concept sketch wasn't actually too crazy. Like it doesn't have that much crazy of a silhouette. It's just, it's just all right. I wouldn't say it's like stunning and immaculate. It's just pretty average. Now coloring in the concept sketch, I wasn't really sure what to do for the skin tone. Then I landed on purple and was like, that's really unique. And I don't really do purple as a skin tone. Let's do it. So I popped down a nice, like, is it, would it be lavender? Oh, just a nice purple and really committed to that. And I, I really like how it turned out. And then I added rainbows across the ears, the eyes, uh, the tail, of course. And I also wanted to add a darker accent color um, of purple. And so I added that as like covering the eyes, kind of making it look like a shadow on the face and then on the hands and then on the chest down towards the tummy. Now I will say, I really um, told myself, hey Katie, you cannot add sprinkles onto the clouds and I fought that I fought that thought for all of two seconds until I went no <laughs> I'm gonna do it so I did it I couldn't help myself I just couldn't help myself that's just really what it is I had to do it there was no other option it must be done but I, I actually think the concept um, sketch is better for it I think it, it just it's fun I definitely don't think this character is like my most immaculate and amazing character design. I just think she's average. Then on to after the concept sketch, I was on the line art. I actually, I liked this a lot more while I was drawing it than I do now. I actually think, I think the nicest thing I drew is the hair. And even then, I think I could have done better. I just think the line art's bad. I think the face shape is kind of wonky. I think the body shape is a little wonky. So I don't know why I didn't notice while I was drawing. I think I was just so hyped on the concept <laughs> of the rainbows and the particles that like I was so excited I just forgot how to draw good. <laughs> I, yeah, I just think I think the final her like she's just average. I, I very am very much attached to her at this point. It's just she needed a bit of a moment to become better than what she is which to be fair I think I think I talked about that in last episode is sometimes the first draft sheet is just the stepping stone to get the better the better um, outcome and sometimes you have a design that you make and you draw it in a different style or a different way that you that um, you haven't properly applied to your style and sometimes that happens so you just, you just gotta work at it. And this is a definitely work at it character. However, I really do like the concept. I think my favorite thing about her design and the coloring is um, one, I really like the how soft the rainbow is. I think it, it just goes together really well. And I like the yellow color on that cloud color. I think it's really pretty. But the best thing I like about this design is that like rainbow, um, what would you even call it? Like rainbow design on her neck, shoulder, and shoulders. I don't know. I just really like that. I think it's very satisfying. I also do like the rainbow on her wrists. I also think that was quite interesting and cool. However, that's the design. Um, after I did that later in the day, I was like, wow, I don't like this as much as I did when I drew it. So like last design, I went ahead and made another ref sheet of like one of my, I call it my crappy ref sheets, but it's really just um, easy ref sheets for me to do because I, I flip stuff. I make it easier on me. So I'll let you watch that and then we can get back and discuss.
And I think this turned out much better than the first one did. I like the first one and that like it, it, it was a stepping stone, but I think this rough sheet's much better. And I also added a, a different mouth to alternative mouths because in the original she doesn't have a mouth and I will have that be like a, a normal thing she does is her mouth disappears. But I gave her um, kind of like um, a, a ghosty mouth and then I gave her a normal mouth and then I added an option for her to have an iris that is like white. And I really like that I did that. I like having options. <laughs> I don't think, I think that's the only change, thing I changed about the design. Um, however, this is the second ref sheet I did. But that is it for day 46 of character design and day three of Mermaid. Um, if you like the, today's character, I would love to hear it in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. But something I wanted to discuss is um, my character designs. I do character design videos. I'm very much currently trying to do them every day. And that is, I'm putting a lot of work on myself, which of course I signed up for it. That is completely fine. I'm okay with that. However, I do understand that the fact is I do the same pose and it's not like crazy, crazy. It, it looks like it's not a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. Like I record for one to two hours, sometimes less if I'm lucky. I, I have to speed that up in Sony Vegas, which takes like one to two hours, depending how long I drew it. And then I have to edit, which takes one to two hours. And then like that did, I, doesn't even include the voiceover, which takes me forever. And then I have to render it, which takes can take a 30 minutes to an hour, maybe even more. That And I try to do that every day. That's a lot of work. And I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, um, my life's horrible. No, I'm just trying to be real with you. But that's, that's, it's a lot of work for my character design videos. And I know that they're kind of simple and they're not like crazy and I'm not breaking grounds. However, I do want to push myself. So what I want to do in the future is these character designs will probably stay the same. I'll probably get better over time, which is expected. But to go into more depth character design, I want to start a series called Character Files. This way I can go into any character we've done in the past present, future, and discuss their design more in depth. Maybe we can make AUs, maybe we can make more ref sheets, add more art to characters I have, and we can discuss um, why their design's good or what I would change about it or anything. But in the future, maybe June or July, I wanna start doing character file videos. So for the people who are wanting me to go um, more in depth and do more creative things, that is what I'm going to be planning on doing. I don't know if I'll be able to do it by June and July because I really want to do something cool with it. I want to do, I don't know, I, st I want to do cool things. I haven't caught, I haven't completely grasped the idea of it. However, I'm going to be trying pushing for it after I nail getting the character design habit down of doing them every day and working on it. Because I know it's a lot of work, but um, I think it's worth it. I do think it's worth it. And it's my goal to do it, do at least 365 of them. And we're at 46. However, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that might be like, no one cares, but I just wanted to say it. Sorry if this voiceover was a little short or rushed. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, thank you for watching today's video. I love you and stay safe.